me Badger Army, hope you're all well guys, welcome to today's show. Now it's sad news that the creator of Coffee Talk recently died at the age of 32. That was a real shock to me, I've only just got used to and in starting to enjoy this universe and the love that it's brought in. So, you know, this is like a Sunday in a game and it's really upsetting that the creator of this died recently. I don't know how, um, but it's really upsetting to me, you know, because I've only just started getting into this universe. I don't think they've released details of how he died either, so that is a bit sad, but I'm hoping that his legacy lives on. Perhaps I do a Coffee Talk 2. Uh, did he have any games that were nearly finished? It'd be great if they were released somehow. It's really interesting to see what happens here. But yes, I am looking forward to seeing what happens. And I hope everyone's okay. Welcome. Oh yes, welcome everyone. Oh yes indeed, welcome guys. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. If you're commenting, just give me a sec. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome. They're not coming up, unfortunately. Hopefully the comments will come up on the iPad. Welcome, guys. Okay, let me check. For some reason the comments aren't coming up on the phone, so bear with me. Okay. I'm going to share the stream for a bit as well. Okay. Welcome, guys. Hope you're all right. Hey, how's it going, Gunner? Welcome. <laughs> how's it going, Gunner? How are you doing, buddy? Welcome. For some reason the comment didn't come up on the phone, which is weird. Yeah, not too bad. The creator of this game recently uh, passed away, so it's quite sad, isn't it? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. The annoying thing was I didn't have my, uh, didn't charge up my proper headphones today, either, so I've got the knackered old backups. Can you hear me all right and everything, I hope? How's it going, Mystical? Welcome. How you doing? It is not good. How's it going, Mystical? Welcome, everyone. How you doing? Are you hear me? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, no, it's really sad, actually, that uh, he passed away. I don't actually know how, but um, I'm hoping he's... No, it wasn't too traumatic or anything like that. Quite upsetting, really. And I've only just started getting into this game as well, so it's a bit of a shocker for me. And he was a lot younger than me as well. He's only 32, uh, the creator of this game, so it's very sad that he died. Oh, dear. But I'm sure he wouldn't want us to be Mizog. So let's move forward. Let's listen to some chilled lo-fi. Just going to share... By the way, guys, don't forget, I know you're part of it, aren't you, uh, Mystical? But, Gunner, I'm not sure if you've joined the new Discord yet, so I'll send you a link. Oh, yeah. Right, here we go. I think you might have, actually. Actually, yes, you might have. I'll double check. Oh yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Mystical. What have you been up to today, Gunner? Are you okay, mate? How you doing? Oh dear. Yes, I'm glad you're all right. Gunner, indeed you sexy animal, how you doing? Ah oh dear, it's very good to see you all. Hello indeed to you as well, young man. How have you been, Gunner, and how's Doom64 treating you? Indeed, right. Okay. Right, here we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Right, let's get cracking. Sorry about that, guys. 
Oh. Oh. Definitely don't want to delete crumbs. Oh dear. Yeah, so this is a chill game, bit of a slower pace. It's quite nice to relax to though. Quite nice to rest up and relax to indeed. Oh, what's happening here? Welcome, oh. What? Welcome. How strange is this? Um, welcome. Hello there. Good evenings. Good evening, sir. Ah, oh, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Uh, is it okay if you call you sir? Oh dear. Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. Oh, weird. I don't mind a bit. Uh, mashed potatoes, how's it going? Hey, death. Oh dear. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? Oh, here we go. What do we recommend? Hey, death. Mashed potatoes. Guys, is everything working all right for the stream? Let me know. We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Oh, dear. What could this be? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's, it's all right. Forget it. It's the most expensive drink here. Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Ah, you had a surprise. That's good. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided what to order then? Ooh. Random rant about what? Would you like me to randomly rant about? <laughs> Ooh. The bus strike. That's what I want to randomly rant about. The bus strikes. Bus strikes are insane. What is everyone going to do? How are people going to get about without buses? It's insanely mad. I don't know what we're going to do without the buses. If the buses go on strike, we are screwed. And also, why is my local train station shut every weekend? <coughs> why am I not able to go further afield without it being too much faff? Anything. Right, here we go. So we're going to make some coffee. Wow, well done, man. That's great news, Death. That's great news, man. That's absolutely fantastic news. Oh, yes. That's great news, man. Oh, now what could we have here? Hey, rats, indeed. Murderous, how's it going? I'm not too bad, young man. How are you doing? I'm not too shabby. How are you, sir? Indeed. I'm all right. Bit tired, but I'm okay. Now, what could we have here? Hey, rats, indeed. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're okay. Now, what could we have? What's a nice coffee? Oh, what rum was that? Oh, let's brew it. Nice. Tried out my new rum and it's delicious. What rum was it? They don't want me to travel at weekends, no. I'm not too bad. Death of rats, that's great, mate. Rum bullion. Ah, okay. We had a bit of an interesting experience, but I'll tell you that in private, though. Right, here we go. Now, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Serve it. It's strong and packs a huge taste of cinnamon, honey, and orange. Ooh, yum. Your drink is ready, kind sir. Hope you're to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let's drink this. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Yes. <laughs> oh, nothing. Okay. Um. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Why did you put your finger in the drink? 
It's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Hmm. One small step for man, another for mankind indeed. Hope you enjoyed your uh, random rant, Mystical. Oh, yes, of course. Night, night, buddy. Yeah, later. Later's done. Night, night. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use speaking organs to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually... A polypropene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. <laughs> Pardon me? It's what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Badger Jr., by the way. He says hi. You mean the straw? Yes, we wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Ah, good. Honestly, you can't drink without it. Yes, plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76 of all drinking occasions we encountered. It has become one of the biggest single use of pollutants in your planet. Yes, it has. It's very bad. And that's why we use paper straws now, kids. Anyways, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendage into the liquid mixture to cool your drinks. <laughs> oh, yes. It's very convenient. He's already done his spellings for tonight. He's done well. <laughs> Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision to make processes. Indeed. Or oh, metal straws, that's right. No. <laughs> what are you up to? Sorry, guys. Oh dear. I see! I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. That's it, metal straws are very effective. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. It'd be too complicated to tell you all the details. <laughs> Indeed. I'm going to tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? To find out what Earthlings call female. Oh, God. And then breed. Oh, dear. No worries, Mr. Cool. See you later. Oh, dear. You came from a faraway place to find a date? A date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But not. Our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. <gasps> uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Not tomorrow. Friday. Oh, don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. All of our places have been to, this place has the worst communication. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Talking about communication. No, that's Friday morning. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We're using unique accumulation uh, <laughs> participants. According to our data, it's the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although the success rate of breeding is not as high as the... Oh, no, this rum is going to send you to Betty Buys. That's not good, is it? Wait. Are you talking about a dating app? This system used to fire symbols as their sign. You are talking about a dating app, but again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? 
According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. <laughs> and when two inter interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. <laughs> I think I will, I assume. Most of them start communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. <laughs> and they said some words that cannot be considered proper. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them were laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear, but some did. Yes, but you got caught from views with the way they communicate. Oh, no. No outcomes from the meetings. Oh, dear. Even though we decided to go to our various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of them recommended places. Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. Ooh, yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Ooh. Maybe each Earth thing is different. Interpretations of time. You're right about that. Oh, who could this be? Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Ah. Cafe latte, please. Here we go. Oh, if only I remembered how to do a cafe latte. Damn it! Oh, I think it's coffee milk milk, isn't it? Rats, help me rats! You're my only hope! Is it coffee milk milk? Or not? I forget now. Look it up! Nah. What could it be? I thought it was coffee milk milk. Yeah, I thought so. Ah! Bro! I thought it was coffee milk milk, yeah. Square into Yep, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, matey. Oh, serve. Latte art. Latte. 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 Square indeed, yeah. Oh, oh. now yeah, doesn't this look perfect, everyone? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. This is just some sort of, you know, Rorschach symbol. You know, what do you see, guys? What do you guys see in the Rorschach symbol created by the coffee? I'd love to know. At the minute, it's looking like Sanic going through the sonic dimensions. Definitely looks like Sanic. There's some Sanic love going on there, definitely. Yeah, what do you think, guys? What do you see in the coffee? Let's serve it up. Square indeed. Thank you, my friend. How's everyone getting on today? Hope you're okay. Oh, your order is ready, miss. Why, thank you. How is it? Good. Excellent. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Ah, okay. Please enjoy your time. Hey, can I help you with something? No, nothing. Oh, no. 
Pardon us. Okay. Oh, do we see some romance brewing? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, he so wants to talk to them. Um, um, excuse us. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so cringe. <laughs> so cringe. Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Ah, are you sure? You're doing Plankerton from SpongeBob. Oh no! Yes. I'm sure, I'm not waiting for anyone because we're waiting for someone from this app, and she's an orc just like you. Oh no! Yes, but no, but. <laughs> First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Uruk High 60? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Is this guy saying, please pardon them, miss? I don't think they're from around here. Oh no! <laughs> oh, so. You've not answered the question. Are you, you UK Hire 69? No. My name is Myrtle. I never use your UK Hire 69 anywhere. Oh. Really not her. Oh no, he's been stood up. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're not, if you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends or go to a club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. Oh, that's sad. Oh, uh, hey, when you say he's not from around here, are you say he's not from Earth. Well, that's what I've gathered from now. They're not from this planet, man. <laughs> oh, yes, but no, but yes, but no, but. <laughs> But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to search results, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Ah, uh, Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about the space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh no! Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female? About an hour ago, according to local time. She's bailing on you, man. Oh, no. Yeah, I will take a look, buddy. Yeah, definitely. It means big chance she's not coming. Oh, it is her. Myrtle, just go out with him. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Oh no! Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Oh no! Oh. Did she reply? No. Oh no! That's sad. It definitely is her, you know. Oh, that definitely is her. No, ouch. If she didn't reply, uh, I'm 100% sure she bailed. Oh, no. It's not. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, it's not her. Oh, she's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Um, oh, that was, oh, no, we're pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. Has this happened before? Many times. 
Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Oh! Earthling new strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. <laughs> your kind never cease to amaze us. Oh! If that's the case, we don't need to be here anymore. Oh, okay. Don't they? You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. Aww. It's not, really? We need to report back immediately, but we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Badger. Thank you for your time, Badger. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way, and uh, breeding norms. Although you can use the word strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Oh! Okay, then we are off. Take care on your way. Oh, no! Are you sure? I really do think it is her. Oh, who's coming in? <laughs> Whoa, boy! What the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. Uh, that... <laughs> What is a national do to coffee shop? <laughs> Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? <laughs> Lack of the dog. A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? Oh, no. Okay. Won't say the spaceman's name, but I think you can guess it. Okay, cool. The date didn't show up. Oh, ouch. Poor astronaut. Oh, that's true. Why didn't they remove their suit before the date? That's true. Uh, I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know. I don't think they're an astronaut in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, okay, yeah, don't spoil it. No spoilers, just in case. Alien? Like an Englishman, New York alien, or an alien alien? <laughs> I'm an Englishman in New York. Ah. Out of space, probably. Or other dimensions. <laughs> Who knows? Wow, like super wow. I mean, I know you get the lots of different visitors here, but wowzers. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing, yes, the writing. With a capital T and a W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Ah! I preempted the air. What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No, please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Oh no! Be more confident in your work. Nice. Murderous, how's it going? Hope you uh, enjoy your rum tonight, buddy. Nice. It's gonna send you to Betty Buys, oh dear. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. Ooh. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you plan to show it all along. Ooh, okay. Hee hee hee. I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft. It was host the channel. Hosts are ultra powerful and really do help the show. So please do if you can. It's just a little button in the corner. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Ah, right, all right. 
Let me get out my bag. To be honest with your feedback, I will. Oh, yes. Now we hand it over. Oh! It's okay, Freya. Oh. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Now, let's see. Ooh! Oh, let me read it at my own pace, okay? Ooh. Oh, we're going to see what he thinks. What do we think of it? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character? Oh my, is the character badly written? Ooh, is it? Who knows? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Ooh, okay. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example, you. You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, you think I think someone's coming? Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Oh, who's this? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, does she look cute? Welcome, would you like a drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. I'll order right away. Ooh, okay. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm. It's okay if I order something a bit complicated. Oh dear, here we go. You can order whatever you like, as long as we have the ingredients. Low fi chill. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? Chai? Tea with spices. Okay, yes. Tea with spices. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to look this up. Obviously tea, or is it not? That's not helpful, it's just a thing. Oh no, come on, help me. Yeah, okay, it's tea. Oh, what could it be? Is that right? Tea, cinnamon, ginger? Not green tea, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Mm -mm. Not sure. Oh, dear. But it's a, a spicy one, though, isn't it? You need milk. Ah, oh, pants. Okay. T. 
tea. Ah, milk. Spices. Coffee talk. How's it going, Kiritani? Now, which spice though? Cinnamon or nutmeg? I'm not sure. Hey, yo! You love this game so chill. Yeah, man, I love it. Um, sad news though, um, like we were actually gonna do this stream anyway, but there was some sad news. The creator of this game died yesterday, which is ultra, ultra sad. It's the spice, pants. Cinnamon spice works, though, doesn't it? Nutmeg isn't a spice. Oh, pants. It's good, but it's not one of the pants. Oh my, that was my mistake. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Damn it, nutmeg isn't a spice, curses. Understood, miss. Yeah, I do love this game as well, Kiritai. So chill. Oh. Where were we indeed, yes. Cinnamon pants. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the, the creator of this game died the other day. Um, I'm not too sure how, uh, but apparently he died yesterday or the day before, I believe. Which is very sad. A bit pants really, wasn't it? And it's a bit sad for me, just, I've just become a fan of this game, just getting into it, and then I read uh, the other earlier on today that he died, it's very sad. I know, yeah, he was only 31. <sighs> Definitely not pants, exactly. You bet. The readers know me, they'll notice right away, is it okay? Sure, why not? Can't believe I fluffed up on the order, never mind. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless you told me personally. Ah, and having a main character like me makes it easier to write, if you say so. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, yeah, really rubbish news that was. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if she's the date. I wonder. Is she the date? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you the fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Small scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Oh, okay. Just let me have a look at something. Okay. Oh, look, it's all there. Why did... Damn it. All the stuff's there. Why did I see it? Oh, uh, yeah, Mohammed Farmi, yes, it's very sad. I'm not sure if I got that pronunciation correct. Indeed, very pants. Oh, dear. She's still writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading a draft for it. Square pants, I wish I'd known that. SpongeBob Square Pants. Ah! Will that be my first book if I ever finished it? I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer, and even I can't use complex words like conjure, like you just did. 
A lot of people said my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Aqua. And pardon me, my name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Badger. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so, yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at university. Ooh, okay. Also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. Thanks. You said you can't write. Oh, no. Any new drinks get added to this? Damn it, I need to remember that. But research papers need a lot of writing. Skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing. Not narrative writing. Ah, okay. Badger or mashed potatoes. Exactly. I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. Involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Oh dear. Wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. So sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Oh dear. It's all right. Ah, uh, excuse me for interrupting. Ah, okay. Oh no, it is really sad news, isn't it, Kiritani? Mm-mm. Yes. Said you're a researcher in the computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering techniques of 3D environments? Uh, I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did, and it was pretty important for it we're working on. Ooh, okay. It's a video, so full metal conflict. Are you kidding me? You're working on, ah, you work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Ah. Don't be. It's nice to you to meet someone who likes the thing you're working on. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. I love the series so much. Ah, oh, okay. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you really knew that. Oh, I'm just getting all embarrassed. My name is Myrtle. Uh, what do you think of the um, project? I'm one of the technical artists. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. Oh, dear. But could I ask for your business card or something? Oh, okay. Oh, dear. I wish I'd known about the, the barista phone before. Never mind. It's my own fault. Ah. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department and sometimes it takes a while to respond. Ah. Badger is a potato. Yeah, I do have my moments, that's for sure. I'm a potato. <laughs> oh dear. Pardon us for that. Of course we should have expected that. I am a potato, that's right. I don't have my card on me right now, but um, we swap email addresses if you want. Oh, sure. Here's my email. Oh, yep, you got it. Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about is the same series as getting a movie adaptation soon. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Kiritani, any news on your new flat or anything like that? Budget for flashy visuals, but I doubt there's serious justice. Uh, I'm a potato, am I, young man? Because some games tell the stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium, and FMC is no expected. Ex <laughs> Interesting. Do you play video games? Oh, yes. Are you watching me from it? Oh, awesome! 
I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. <laughs> You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are the gamers who <laughs> that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. Oh, they're going into some deep stuff here. Yes. Uh, interesting. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Oh. You don't know how to top up the electric though, so sitting in the dark with just your PC on. Oh man, I'll help you with that at some point. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers. It depends on if you've got like a like a, oh, a key or something. They might have given you a key. Oh, we'll talk about it in private. Hey, how's it going, Dunces? Rip and tear. Dunces, would you like me to play a um, Anacle Scanner? Would you like me to do some Doom soon? Let me know in the comments, guys. Doom. Rip and tear, Dunces, indeed, young man. And they're accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. This is quite an arty game, but in a good way, I like it. Eesh! I ramble on for far too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Oh dear. <laughs> the, war <laughs> the rum has given you a warm fuzzy feeling. Nice. Although I think we should play it together so I'll show you the ropes. That sounds good, man. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's really good perspective. I play those types of games I think people hang out with. Yeah, you've got to look at artsy hipster, you know. <laughs> artsy hipsters? How dare you? I'm not an artsy hipster. <laughs> hipster or hobo? Ah! Can I be half and half? So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? I do verge on being a hipster, you know. Scary, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk you to the bus stop together if you want. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Bless her. I'd love someone who has Final Fantasy 14 and will play online with me. Excellent. Who knows, man? Who knows? Let's play indeed. Let's all play some Doom and some Final Fantasy and stuff. Hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, I won't bother me at all. Ah, nice. Murderous, I might end up playing with, uh, with you at some point. If it's on the PlayStation 4, I can't see why not. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Badger. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. Take care on your way, okay? Because bear in mind, this doesn't open till midnight, so it's late now. It is, yes. Ah, yes, indeed. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. Oh, there we go. See you later. So, yes. That was a nice talk, wasn't it? A lovely talk, yes. It's an MMORPG, and for me, it's the best Final Fantasy ever. Okay. Oh, reading it on and off. Yes, indeed we was. It's kind of good. Seriously, that's it. But I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious. Uh, it's a subscription game. Ew, that sucks. But who knows, murderers? We might be able to sort something out. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognise the expressions you were making as I read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Uh, admit it. Uh, okay, you got me. But this won't be short. I'm really honest about it. Gulp. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Ooh. 
Yeah, maybe murderous. We'll see how we go, yeah? Can't see why not. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to help you with um, that soon then, buddy. Uh, you know, you might have to ask them, did it come with like a stick? Did it come with like a stick that you have to put in the meter? Or something like that? You have to ask the um, landlady or landlord. Oh. Love the chill vibes, man. It's good. Sunday, September 27th, 2020. Ah, okay. Ooh. Yeah, who knows, murderous? I'll see, man. I'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Ah. Oh, you're an almost level 60 summoner. Nice. One level off 60. No, that's mad. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, squishy friend. Aqua. Fancy seeing you again so soon. You're waiting for me to play Play Gink. Ooh, yes. Well, we downloaded it the other day, so I'll be giving it a go soon. Um, so don't be shocked if it appears on the channel soon, my friend. Hi, Freya. Hi, Badger. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Uh, all I have is an SSE gas card S. Hmm. Even your local corner shop might know. You know, it's worth an ask. Same old. I'm good. How about you? Also, maybe you could ask um, one of your fellow tenants. Who knows? Someone's got to know. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is it Myrtle here? As far as I know, it's only me and Badger. <laughs> we have you, you with us now, of course. Are you meeting here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering if she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you tell and come out to meet you here now? Ooh. Oh, okay, maybe not then. <laughs> oh, dear. You have a book and a candle, you're fine. Excellent. I hope you're all right. Ah, yes. Hey, that wouldn't be nice. That's not important anyway. Just want your follow-up questions her team sent today. Hopefully we'll sort something out, murderous. I wouldn't mind giving it a go. Yes, go to the shops over paper. Exactly. Yeah, you should have a number. And a little key. You have like a blue key card you can put in. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway... I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right, I'll order now. Uh, okay, have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon. Right, okay. We can't fluff this up, can we? Or can we? Tea, lemon, cinnamon. No, not ginger, pants. <laughs> what did I do that for? Oh, God. Tea, lemon, cinnamon. Ah, uh, trophy earned. Aremi Jidru. I don't know what that is. That's weird. Hey, Keza Ray. Thanks very much, Keza. Brew. How's it going, Keza? How's it going, Zarek? How's it going, kid? Welcome. Thank you for the raid, guys. Woohoo! Thank you for the raid, Keza. Nice one. Thank you. Uh, welcome everyone, hope you're okay. We're playing some chilled coffee talk. Keza Raid, how's it going Lou? Welcome, how you doing? Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? 
Oh, you do. I heard about that once. Nice. How's it going, Lou? Welcome, everyone. Hope you're all right. Pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. Oh. Community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, it's highly specific fun factor. No, indeed. Welcome, Lou. Welcome. How's it going, kid? Welcome, everyone. Oh, yes. Welcome, Zach. How you doing? Where did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Blop, blop, blop. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Nice. Finished drinking, of course, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left. I was just joking. No. Would that be crazy? Why? Oh, no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. Oh, bless her. She's such a sweetheart. You can suffer. Ah, nice. She's such a sweetheart, Aqua. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Badger. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. I thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Whoa, so you're full-fledged oceanic. Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? Oh, no, I'm the only one who can move here. Oh, no, that's sad. Oh, under the sea. Oh, man. Thank you very much for the raid, Keza. Very kind of you. Woohoo! Thank you guys for the raid. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. Oh, we got the scholarship and an opportunity. Wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Oh, almost two years now. Let's see if we can change the music as well. Under the sea indeed, almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, they can't get a US visa. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a live video call at least once a week. Oh no, that's sad. Do you have siblings? Of course. We're sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids. There are hundreds of us. Holy! How about you, Freya? You have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. Ooh. <laughs> I have a little brother. Ah, oh, four years younger. That's sweet. Does he also live in Seattle? As you can see, the setting for this uh, interactive novel game is Seattle. Also, it involves live brewing of coffee. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, dear. He's living in San Francisco near our parents' house. He's a good kid. I'm the rebel, working high-end tech job while taking care of my dad at the weekends. Oh, That's so nice for him. I know, right? That reminds me. Should visit my parents after finishing this draft. That reminds me, I need to phone my mum tomorrow. <laughs> you should. Visit them while you can. Ah, uh, I know. Anyway, I want to all to say, oh god, coffee time! Another espresso! You know the usual. Oh, here we go! Coffee, coffee, coffee! Coffee! Ooh. Serve it. Coffee. Badger, I've forgotten, haven't I? No! I didn't forget how to make coffee!
I didn't forget how to make the espresso, damn it. An easy drink to do. Yeah, I hadn't forgotten that one. Bitter, just the way I love it. <laughs> oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. <laughs> Who's this kind gentleman? Except for Badger. Oh! How can I help you, sir? Ah, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps. Hmm. Oh! Excuse me, young man. I don't know. Excuse me, sir. How dare you? Hmm. Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, if you're familiar STMJ, I'm sorry, I've never heard of that. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure to recreate it for you. Oh God. Oh, lucky me. Suzu Telo Mandu Ja. Ay! It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, well, do you have eggs? I certainly have. They're just not on the shelf, but I'll eat egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients in. I'd love that. Oh. Cakes, honey, and ginger, was it? I'm not sure. Noted. Don't worry about it though. Oh no! Curses! 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 None of them got uh, the STMJ right. Damn it! Oh yeah, thanks for the drink list. Yeah, I'll be doing that. Can't believe I just got it a little bit wrong. Damn, son. Big shout out to Keza for the raid. Thank you very much, mate. Oh dear. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Yeah, sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. I see, oh dear. Ah. How old are you? Uh. <laughs> creepy go back to your chair and keep your distance oh i'm sorry didn't mean to be creepy oh poor bloke hey badger i just <laughs> i want to i've no idea it's the first time here 
Oh, bless him. He wants to understand young people. Oh, no. Stranger danger. Exactly. Yeah, massive thank you to Keza for the raid. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yes. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes. But not so loud. That's Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked me to meet him. So I told you to come here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Freya and Badger. Please call me Hendry. Oh. Apologise for earlier. Wasn't trying anything funny. Sorry about that. Wait a minute. Hendry Furlong? Yes. Rachel Francis' father? Yes. Furlong? Francia? Why do you have different last names? Oh. Who knows? Who knows? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Stranger, danger, oh dear. Hendry. Oh, uh, Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her surname, uh, stage name. Freya? Okay. I think better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Oh, no. Freya, I'll come with you. Oh no! Awkward! That night when you drove her home, she was hanging out with the shady people. Well, <laughs> I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. Oh! She was in this coffee shop talking bad jam and Freya here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? Yes. What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, just that. I feel like she's getting more and more distant. Oh. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Oh, bless. Or even what to talk about. Don't know what kids are age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. Oh, and it's sad. Isn't it sad? I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing I've learned is to give them some space. Oh, Be there when they need you. Oh, Or you can just bribe them. Ah! Oh, she didn't want to talk for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her her favourite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. It's a trap! Just wait for her to take the plate. Oh no! Just like a stakeout. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed the slice and sat with her. Oh, The pizza really started to smooth things over. Oh, that's cool. What if... What if she loves doing is a problem? Ah. Oh. Rachel loves seeing them, uh, that on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved for her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't the kind of place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. I don't trust her new manager. Oh. Oh. Did something happen? Well, nothing happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. It's possible you've been paranoid. Oh. Don't know, maybe. Ah, uh, pst. Badger, I need you now. Thanks for the drink. Take care and on your way. Ah. Uh, she's off to squish elsewhere. Find another manager. She's already 18, so legally she can kind a contract without parental approval. Ah. Uh, been trying to get her to quit. Oh, no, that's not good.
but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. Uh, as a parent, there's not really much you can do other than guiding them being there when they need us. Uh, sooner or later, we have to trust them to make their own decisions. And everything we told them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. Oh, God. What if she makes the wrong choice? Can do a background check on the manager. Ooh. If that would ease your mind. Please do. <laughs> it's Morris. Last name Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the raiding, guys. Much, much appreciated. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're all enjoying the lo-fi chill. Oh, I've just got a call. I've got to go. Love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait. You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need any help. Wait. Oh, no. He's gone. Oh, poor Hendry. Oh, I'm sure everything will be all right, too. That bad? Yeah, oh. But my wife, Rachel's mum, she convinced me to give it a chance. Oh. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. Oh, this is sad. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff. I don't know what to do. Oh, what do you mean her own stuff? Oh. Oh. Modeling and a solo singing career. The whole different world than the band. Oh. familiar with that side of the biz but things have changed right oh indeed they have even if it, that was it i don't think it's over for the better oh gosh oh uh, she survived being an idol yes in japan and all that sort of stuff it's very big isn't it it's hard work horrible stuff Who knows? Oh, it's quite sad, really, isn't it? He's trying to reconnect with his daughter, things like that. It's quite sad, really. She sounds like someone who'd take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready! I don't want her to get hurt. Oh, there's a lot of bad people out there. Oh, no. People just want to take advantage of her. You hurt further? I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. Oh, you just want what's best for her. Oh. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. Oh, but she's just a girl. My little girl. Oh, seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. Oh, it doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge... You should be able to help her retrieve her dreams. Ah. Maybe he should be her manager then, eh? Oh. I was once a stubborn girl too. Maybe you have your little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Badger? Take all the time you need. Ah. 
Oh. Cough syrup, a cure for a sore throat. Ooh, okay. Yes, indeed, Gunner. Let's look for more recipes. Oh, dear. Coffee Talk. Oh, fantastic little game, this, by the way, guys. If you've never played this and you like interactive novels and novellas and stories, I do recommend it. It's fantastic. Monday, September 28th. Ah. Who knows? How's it going, Banwell? Ban well. Military personnel stationed along the East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from Atlantic. Ah, okay. Hey, how's it going, Banwell? You good, buddy? Are you sure that'll be okay? Yes. I mean, it'd be really hard to pull off. But it's something that made the story different. Different is always good. How are you, Banwell? You good today, buddy? I'm glad you're cool, man. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully. I know. Oh! Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. This makes me want a coffee shop, damn it. I want a coffee shop. I want a niche coffee shop that opens at midnight. Curses. It looked like having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Badger is just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? Just plan to sit and relax. Ah. Don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh. Don't worry about it. Although I need to interrupt Badger for a moment. Ooh, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of? Hmm. Remedy, of course. You want to give it a try again? Ah, I didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. Tea and ginger. Damn it! What is it? Tea, milk, G ah, yes. Okay, cool. a minty tea to go badger no worries man no worries this game really makes me want to have a coffee shop oh dear welcome everyone hope you're okay big shout out to keza for the raid indeed oh is it indeed i have the same feeling i've been made a note of that mixture perfect Woohoo! thanks rats for the help there minty tea to go no worries Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done? I have a lot of homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? Ah, no, I'm by myself tonight. Ah, okay. Ooh. Gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Go, oh, come on, I was just joking. What was she? Ah, he needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. Oh, Banwell, indeed. Might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. 
How is Chunky Monkey? Is he good? That applies to you as well. Oh, come on. Oh. What have we got here? Ah. Good evening, everyone. Oh, it's Bailey's. Caramel cappuccino, please. You got it. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. Hey, ah. What are you doing here, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Badger just <laughs> criticised my story. No, I did no such thing. That's a lie. It's called feedback. It's cruel. It's necessary. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? Okay. Chunky's Good was on today playing Lego Racing. Nice. Any good? And quite complicated. Imagine you choose your own adventure story, but ooh, but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. I do like a bit of choose your own adventure. But soon you tell you which page to turn to. Each decision will make you give you a score. Okay. Bad feedback. Ooh, what? The score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. Ooh, okay. I know it's not that original, but my target here is a mainstream audience. <gasps> oh. <laughs> of course, of course. With the help of my publisher, the kind of book may go mainstream. Just like the Choose Your Own Adventure show on Netstream. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Choose Your Own Adventure books, you know. Old school stuff. Love it. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting. And highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea. Oh! Which is making a novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story card. Oh, that's bizarre. Oh, that's good news, man. That's good news, Banwell. Keep up the good work, buddy. Welcome back. What? I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world, and that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Ooh, okay. Ah, wait till I've finished it, okay. Ooh, this can be interesting. All right, all right. Ah. Interesting. Oh, okay. As Badger said, though, I won't have the time. Ooh. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. <laughs> Let's not make the mountain even higher. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. What's the story about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. I don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Ooh, okay. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. Okay. What do you want to drink tonight? Ah. Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Okay. Oh, 
about uh, Is that going to be... Ooh. Let's have a think. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Now, what... Is it ginger milk milk? Must be. Milk milk ginger? Oh, no. What is it? Coffee. It's got to be coffee, isn't it? Coffee, milk, ginger, yeah? Surely. Thanks, indeed. Mmm, -mm. it's good, but, but what? Oh, needs more ginger. Not as bad or anything, just my personal taste. Noted. Oh, man! Who knows, Ben? Well, it's your decision! I'm done with her. Done? As if you're dropping the project? <laughs> Still need the money. Oh, dear. Done as if I've finished the job. I spent the fast few days making sure. Okay. It's even done the deadline. Ooh. She did like it. Loved it indeed. Cool. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her by using some design terms she didn't understand. Ah. You might wait till I least expect it. <laughs> da da da. Ha ha ha. Taking a break from work, I need to hone, uh, work on a few personal matters. Oh. Like? You and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. Ooh. I don't mind. It's just that if I was young and stupid, you know. Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So... There's a bit of a play back in college. Oh, spicy. I was going after them best friend's girlfriend's friend. Oh, dear. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him... Cog... Cog... Cognac? Cognac? Cognac has a girlfriend. Still following. And that girl has a friend. And this friend is the one I'm after. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why? It's... I don't want to get into details. But it's a succubus. It's super hot. And the guys want to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? It doesn't sound like Lou at all. It wasn't Lou of genius. Huh? Lou was my friend's girl. Oh, holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was, just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lou thanks to her relation with Kanye. Uh, fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now till we get to continue our interruptions. Oh God. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I asked her a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It's annoyed her so much, I kept on bothering her. I mean, oh, it was, <laughs> I was pretty. Oh, active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. We went to the place together and witnessed something. Ooh, what did they witness? What? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Holy mother of Molo. I saw a look in Lua's face. The disbelief, anger and sadness. I'm not even thinking about it. I punched Connor in the face. You what? I got to fight with him. I haven't told you. 
<laughs> Cold Knight was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for the kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed one at one punch and he beat me to a pulp. <laughs> Easy. Lua beat me to stop fighting or further laugh. <laughs> yeah, more like she big cognac. I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easy. I was beaten pretty bad, so Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly the friendship turned into a relationship. Ah, that was one hell of a story. I do love this game. It has some, some really interesting stories. And you know what? You can imagine yourself being in a coffee shop listening to all this drama. I think that's what makes it so real. It's fun. Ah. Oh, yeah. She came here a few days ago. How's she doing? She hasn't recorded any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. What do I think about the Will Smith slap? Actually, me and Nick did a video on it uh, today that I'll release early tomorrow morning. But we did talk about it briefly, but it's such a complicated issue, I'm going to leave it for the video tomorrow. But, ooh, it's a, it's a spicy one. It is a spicy one. I'm not going to tell you because I want you to see what I think in the video. We've got some interesting views. We did talk about it briefly in yesterday's stream as well, if you want to check it out. She got into an argument, though. With whom? There was a male model. A model, you say? <sighs> to go with that model. Oh, they weren't together. They were arguing about what? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Oh. Oh, about your family stuff. And this guy, Hyatt, joined the discussion. What did he say? Oh, this is going to get spicy. Considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. <gasps> Would you do that for her? Oh, no. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Oh. Let me tell you about my family. Or should I say most elven families. They all think they're high and mighty. If you're born an elf, then there's certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. But we must never, ever make our family look bad. Okay. Uh, you can only befriend certain people. You must dress in a certain way and only have certain jobs. Joined uh, jobs that are deemed worthy and successful, like being a doctor, a lawyer, or a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. Aww. Becoming an artist is not something elves would dream suitable. <laughs> oh, unless they become next Da Vinci. Oh, no. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, ooh, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. They told me I'd never be rich or successful. And all that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. <sighs> Yelled about how her kind was ruining the country. Oh, accusing their religion of worshiping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. <gasps> Whoa! I mean, come on. This is the 21st century. That's not cool. Don't want to be judgmental. But your family's racist. Oh, God. Tell me about it. Ooh. Oh, free to pursue your dreams. I don't understand why Lou is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for both of us. What about her? What about her and her family? Oh, you may be happy to leave your family. However, it's not the same for her. Oh, I... Oh, God, did you have something to say? Oh, here we go. 
different perspective. Sorry, didn't mean to eavesdrop. Oh, hearing your story, assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? She's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We put our family before any other. We have our own problems within the pack. Okay. Ah, yes. All those bad stereotypes about succubi are true. Oh, yes. That's true. Never thought of it that way before, too. Oh, no, see? Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. Ooh, very true. Ah. Leave your family for her. We'll put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for her actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say for now. Ooh, okay. don't know what the future holds. One day circumstances may change. One day you might regret your decisions. One day you might use the I left my family for you card. <gasps> Ooh, we love each other. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down. Oh no! <laughs> broom, broom! What type, kind of noise does a witch's vehicle make? Broom, broom! <laughs> Maintain it won't be easy, it'll be hard to work. Because life, life is full of storms. Broom, broom! Oh, God. And marriage will not survive on love alone. Ooh. Whoa, that's deep. We have each other and that's enough for us. Oh. Tell me, do you have a health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? Well, that's true. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege. Oh. That's true. Empty their entire life savings for eight dollar pill because the country they charge oh twenty thousand for it. Oh, what do you call a pudgy psychic? Oh, go on, I know this one. If you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege as you do. They're high probability they'll be bullied for being a half breed. There are consequences. Oh God, this is deep. Think about it. Anyway, we've got to go. Apologise for my intrusion. Oh, dear. I don't know. What do you call a pudgy psychic? A fortune teller. Oh, God. Terrible. No, thank you for your insight. Ooh, okay. I've got to go, too. Want to head out together? Sure. Ah. Thank you for the drink, Bad. No worries. And Freya? Bye. Mm. Ooh. What? Haha, <laughs> you made me lose two customers in a minute. That wasn't on me. They're leaving anyway. Ooh. It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? Ooh, I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, there we go. STMJ, a warm booster made of suzu milk, teller egg, mandu honey, and jar 
Ginger from Indonesia. Ooh, nice. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Yeah, how's it going, guys? <laughs> how's it going, girl games? You good? How are you today? We're just playing some coffee talk. <sighs> it's Tuesday. to stop major hospitals selling fury sedative illegally. Mm-hmm. Oh, better for him and you. Thanks very much. That's kind. That makes what we do worthwhile. So thanks very much for that. Apologies for the lack of good sound quality. I forgot to charge my uh, better headphones. So we're the old, old ones tonight. Yes, it's Tuesday, lol. It is. Hey, here we go. He never really changed. I know. But surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Hey, what? Thank you for forcing me people to do it. Ah, uh, yeah. What? You say? Hey, Badger. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment. Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. But there's no harm in checking other combinations. All right. Know what to do. Oh, here we go. Was it 
T. Ginger Ginger, wasn't it? Or was it Milk Ginger Ginger? I'm not sure. Pants! Let me have a look. What? Tea milk ginger, I thought so. Just what I needed. Ah, what about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Couldn't help overhearing you both. Sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Ah, okay. Didn't you meet here? Yes. When this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass whooped by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> It was a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I'm no kung fu. <laughs> Besides, I had a couple of drinks. Could have taken them if I was sober. A couple, really. You were trashed, Hyde. I told them you were a bodyguard. Wait, you... <laughs> Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Ah! Hi-ho! Hi-ho! It's off to where we go! Not all the time, we didn't even know each other. But because of the whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. <laughs> Hi ho! How's it going, Girl Games? You good, mate? Hope you're well. Obviously, too drunk to drive, so I held a cab. Turns out it was also drunk to tell the driver where he lived. Oh no. Stop with him until the morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. <laughs> Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have ties to the mafia. <laughs> oh, brilliant. A lot of my money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money, so I decided to screw them over instead. Oh! I knew the hide was there, innocent, but that's why I told him. He might be annoying ass hat, but he's not that a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sending me a guardian angel at my time of need. Oh. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before, <laughs> hey, I took you for breakfast. Oh dear, don't tell me that counted for nothing. Ooh. Ah, it was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. <laughs> Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, I see. So how did you go working from uh, as a bodyguard to working in a hospital, Gala? Uh, well, when he was working with me, I noticed... Hide. Oh, skip that bit. Oh, it's all right. <gasps> uh, something. Let's just say something from my past. Ah, thanks to that help, I found new purpose in life. <gasps> Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. Oh, okay. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe my, this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence, he helped me when I need it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. Aww. Mm. Anyway, Badger, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? 
A tea based drink that's warm and cool at the same time. Eh? Uh, warm and cool at the same time? Oh, I'm not sure about this. Okay. See the milk. That makes sense, right? Mint, maybe? Ah, okay. Well, that's not a bad idea, actually. Is. That's definitely cool. See, that balances out the warm, doesn't it? The cinnamon. Oh, God, this is going to be an interesting one. Tea, mint, and cinnamon. Let's just go with it and see what happens. That's what they asked for. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. Yay! It feels like this place is missing something today. We got it right. That's good. <sighs> yeah, I haven't seen her today. Oh, what could it be? Speak of the devil. Good people. No worries, Rat. See you later on, buddy. Guys, don't forget if you've got a spare Twitch Prime Amazon thingamabob knocking around in your cupboard, catching dust, it would be my honour if you were to help the show. And it would mean a lot to me as well. So thank you very much in advance. It's much appreciated, everyone that subscribes to the show. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, yes. And it's the perfect way to help the channel for free! Huzzah! And one vampire. He, he, he! It's good to see you too. Freya! By the way, we are just talking about you. Oh, really? Ooh! What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that you pick up girls long enough to be your granddaughters? That won't work on me. <laughs> I've no interest in flirting with you. Oh! I've got high standards, you know. Ooh! You! You look so tired, bro. Hard day at work. Yeah, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Badge in my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's nice to hear. Ooh, there we go. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. Indeed. Oh. Will do, sir. 
And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admitting life going? That's not even a word for her. Actually, it's not even a good show even to do there. Hmm. Pretty boring to talk about. No worries, Ratty. See you later. Oh. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. Okay. Patients and their families that require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we'd need and how much it would cost them. Ooh. Kind of like biz developments for people's lives then. You'd say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. Oh dear. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone gets very emotionally attached to patients and find it still pretty tough. Aww. Whereas heartless people, like my friend here, only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Oh. Oh. It's an interesting job though. Okay. Ah, we rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. Okay. It's patients' personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. We should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of the lady here. You? <laughs> he needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hide. Been doing this job for a while, right? Ooh, okay. Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy hand grenades. Ask for a promotion, man. Ah, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? Ah, yes. Of course. Ah, but what I get in the moment is more than enough for the right now. Okay. figure you out that's color for you anyway my shift's starting soon it was nice catching up with both of you Ooh. are you going to stay hide yeah i'm soon enjoying the vibes here oh that's nice i'll see you in a few weeks i guess yep safe trip see you around badger and you freya see you take care on your way oh yes it's definitely a rainy seattle evening today Oh, he's off. It's kind of hard to believe that someone like Gala could be your best friend. <laughs> oh, really? I uh, missed an interesting story. How did you guys meet? Retell the story? Ah, uh, yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh, all right then. I met this place back when it was a bar. Ooh, okay. Whoa! Never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be in the front line. Still though, why did he jump from, how shall I say this, a very physical job to a medic? Oh, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. Oh, okay. But you know why, right? You're trying to squeeze the story from me. Obviously. Doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. Oh, I won't get into details. But, going to war messes with your head. Aww. Oh, you see my guy doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it. But it must be difficult, especially back then. Ooh, okay. Only thing I was confident with is strength. Ah, so only did work retail. Ah, relied on this muscle. Wouldn't help me over the trauma though, right? Of course not. Oh, okay. But it's the only thing he could do. For at least, it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know all about that at the time. Besides, he was good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. 
So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to the interest in him. Ah, oh, okay. Interested? Mm. Think he's a cool person. Ah, oh, okay. That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I, just, I suggested you talk about it with someone and seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did get to get professional help. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Girl Games, you alright tonight? How's everyone doing? Hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying chilling out with some coffee talk, guys. New purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and uh, not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. He's been work... Oh, who's this? Oh! Good evening, everyone! Oh, boy. Good evening! It's nice to see you again. <laughs> oh, God. Also, glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name we sure have. Neil! We're all friends here, Neil. Neil Armstrong, oh dear. Neil, yes, Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what I've learned here, it seems like Neil has a lot of association with Earthlings efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, okay. I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. <laughs> I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So hello, my name is Freya. You could, uh, you could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hi, Ed. You come here often? For someone that doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Aww. Ooh, not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more. More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation systems mean nothing. Oh gosh. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? Ah, <laughs> and do you all your kind dress like this? Oh dear. Oh, this? We chose this appearance on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Oh. Ah, the album cover. No wonder you look familiar. What is it you're doing? Hmm. This place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What would you like to drink tonight? The usual. That's how you say it, yes? Yes. So, anything. <laughs> yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. Yes. What if I can brew you a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we don't I doubt you about to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh man, what to do? What to do? Go for it. 
top of anything. What the heck? Normally, yes. But you can't be sure with Freya. We are travelers doing our job at a space called, you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We're tasked with a mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. <laughs> All the way to the galaxy far, far away. Wow. <laughs> Not really. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Mmm. Oh, classified information. Oh, uh, with how quirky and unique you are. <laughs> Like, could Neil and Freya go out? Oh! You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. Ah, oh, that's cool. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Oh, excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean that you're willing to breed with us in exchange for your stories? Oh, no. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner. You exchange for stories. Oh. <laughs> but our mission is serious. It's not that. Ah. Oh. Let's check the terms once again. <sighs> this is very strange. According to what we found, many earthlings mate with one person exclusive for their entire lives. Oh, yes. Commitment, such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Uh, not to mention that. We don't have enough control of ourselves, oh God. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they're strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. Ooh. Uh, we know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind was loved and concept restraint and take care of planet. Ooh, okay. Information network, theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. Ooh, okay. Miss Freya, another question. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know. Before we talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I'm single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now! But usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow, I'd love it if Neil and Freya went out on a date. That'd be so cool. Breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Somebody with good at communication with others. That'd be really challenging for us. Even after that, Making kids is still a totally different league. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness me, here we go. This information is too much to process for one evening. So oh. See how you drink. <laughs> Who knows? Hmm, that's true. 
How do you do it? I'm <laughs> pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to the mating ritual. Oh dear. No. Oh, you don't need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah? Not sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research. And we tried it on the testing object we made. Yeah, it was proven. <laughs> oh my god. Mental capacity of earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on earth, sir. Oh, <laughs> we did not know that. Oh. Being born on earth sounds very difficult. It is. Have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you've given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. It's a raw fire run is back to base. How will you proceed to your mission with the newfound information? We're not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It's really nice talking with you all. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. Oh, wow. Big shout out to Keza for today's raid. Hope everyone's okay. Welcome, welcome. Oh, that was really something. Oh, okay. Oh. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. Ah! The game developer... Wow, I dread to think how that went. It's pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, that young woman back there, since I spoke last time. You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend came in a few days ago, and Freya was pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined in the discussion. Ah! My, my, really have a knack of starting trouble. Sad I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest or annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> oh, well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? Only for a week or so. I'll be back sooner than you know. Oh well. Be a peaceful week then. Oh! <laughs> oh, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm. Didn't even notice that. Really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, did you want to share a cab? I should ride on a bike. All right then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. Oh, more coffee talk real soon, by the way, guys. Thank you very much for watching this stream. It's a bit of a tribute to the creator who sadly passed away. So that was a bit heavy to begin with at the start of the stream. But hopefully, you know, I'm a bit of a fan of this game and it's new to me. And it hasn't quite hit me what happened to him yet, but it is really sad. So hopefully we can continue the game, have lots of fun with it, enjoy the legacy, and hopefully we get to see a bit more about what happened and hope is all, you know, everything calms down and all that. He has inspired some creators to do some new things. And he was only 31, so it is really sad that he died. Okay. It's time to save. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna main menu and then we're gonna hope it's saved again. I'm not too sure. Just double checking really. I'm not sure if it did save you though. Curses! Hopefully it did save. Oh God, if it didn't save, I'm gonna be angst. I'm gonna be angst ridden. Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh it did save, that's good then. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. We've not got this far before, so that's cool. Righty ho then! Let's do a Badger on raid, everyone! Big thank you to everyone that's joined me tonight. Oh dear, forget that we can do that. It's raid time! Indeed. Let's raid the lovely dunces. Oh yes. Oh yes, don't forget to say Pedro Bon Raid! Indeed! Thanks everyone, and I'll see you later! Righty ho guys, thank you very much for joining me. More lovely jubbly streams tomorrow, and I'll see you next time guys. Don't forget to check any vlogs, video streams, or shorts you may have missed. There will be a lovely vlog. They're gonna, there's gonna be an on the bench special tomorrow with me and Nick on YouTube, so please do check that out. And I will see you next time guys. Thank you very much for watching. More streams and more fun and more antics coming very soon. All being well, we do a stream tomorrow night as well, around about the same time. Indeed, going to be lots of fun. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm not sure what to play yet, so please feel free to suggest in the comments or on the channels, indeed, or on Discord too. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Keep safe. Keep well. Much love, everyone. And I'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, or short. Bye. ta -ra! Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you for all the lovely comments and love. And a big thank you to Keza for the raid. Bye. Bye. Bye.